Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to talk to you about how to travel on a student budget. So just keep watching. Before we get into the video, please don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button somewhere down here or down here. But yeah, I would be much appreciated if you did hit it. So I just made a list of like my tips on how to travel as a student. So this summer I've just gone, I went to Bali for three weeks with my friends. I just thought I'd tell you kind of how we did it. I'd say probably in total, I think all of us each spent maybe like a grand and a half on it, which to go to the other side of the world, I don't think is too bad money wise. And that's kind of like all inclusive of everything. So the first thing I would say is if you are a student, use STA to book your flights. So we got return flights for around 600 pounds I think and considering that that's two planes there two planes back and both planes are like really long like the whole journey takes about 24 hours I think the 600 pounds is a really decent return because like, flights to the states can be more than that I'm pretty sure that I paid about 600 pounds for my return flight to Los Angeles at Easter so that's like half the distance away as well so definitely use SDA check out their options but also be careful which um, options you're going with because I know that there were some airlines that were a little bit cheaper maybe like 500 pounds but they were ones that you know have been a bit dodgy in the past so we didn't go with them we went with a reputable one we went with Qatar they were really good I definitely recommend them but yeah using SDA is my first like tip and um, my next one is obviously if you are going to the other side of the world and you're not going to like the states or somewhere or Europe if you're going far far away you do need to make sure that you get jabs but some of these are available for free on the NHS so make sure you check which ones are for free before you go and book into a private clinic go and see the travel nurse at your GP surgery and see which ones you can get for free as obviously that will save you some money but again jabs can be quite expensive so that is something to bear in mind when you're traveling really far abroad the next one is kind of an obvious one but stay in hostels don't book hotels hotels will cost you like 30 40 quid a night whereas hostels um make sure you're staying in a dorm room because if you're traveling alone that's really good to meet people to like go for dinner and like just make friends kind of thing but also it makes it a lot cheaper i think we were paying between like five and seven pound a night for our hostels and also another tip is with some of them they'll include breakfast in that price so have a look because if they do include breakfast in that price that's a way to save yourself like a few pounds as well because you won't have to go eat out for breakfast another one is go to independent restaurants not chains i know when we were staying in seminyak or kuta i remember going past like a jamie's italian which honestly don't know why that's in like the middle of asia but okay um and you know like there were other what they're called other chains as well but if you're going to like the independence they're a lot cheaper i know when we stayed in uluwatu we went to like this tiny little cafe restaurant maybe three or four times and we got like three course meal and a drink for like three quid which is like ridiculously cheap so make sure you're kind of looking for more local things rather than like western things when you're looking for food another one is take advantage of good offers so in kuta yeah in kuta there is a buffet called sky garden and it opens at five i can't remember how much you paid but it really wasn't that much and then it was unlimited food and unlimited drinks from five till nine so that's four hours of food and drink or i don't think it was like any more than five pounds which was really decent and they do different ones every single night so like different types of food every night that is a good recommendation go to places that offer you really good value for money and then my last point, again, is quite obvious, but I feel like people kind of forget it when they're on holiday, is don't spend money on pointless things. So there's a lot, a lot of like tap being sold when you're abroad, especially if you're in tourist areas. But I know that I tried to stay away from buying the tap whilst I was in Bali. Like I didn't need it. I didn't need like 500 new clothes that were made in Bali kind of thing. So I just stuck to things that I knew that I would definitely use and that seemed like good quality. And obviously that saved a lot of money because I just wasn't buying loads of rubbish. Anyway, I hope that that kind of gave you some ideas on how to travel on a student budget. If you do have any more questions, please leave them in the comments down below because this video was actually requested. Yeah, you can also ask me questions across on my Twitter or my Instagram. They're both linked down below, but the handles are katie underscore may07. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well.